Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Nicolaus Copernicus. Nicolaus Copernicus, February 19, 1473 to May 24, 1543, was a Renaissance and Reformation era mathematician and astronomer who formulated a model of the universe that placed the Sun rather than the Earth at the center of the universe, likely independently of Aristarchus of Samos, who had formulated such a model some 18 centuries earlier. A publication of Copernicus' model in his book De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium, on the revolutions of the celestial spheres, just before his death in 1543, was a major event in the history of science, triggering the Copernican Revolution and making an important contribution to the scientific revolution. Copernicus was born and died in rural Prussia, a region that had been part of the Kingdom of Poland since 1466. A polyglot and polymath. He obtained a doctorate in canon law and was also a mathematician, astronomer, physician, classic scholar, translator, governor, diplomat, and economist. In 1517 he derived a quantity theory of money, a key concept in economics, and in 1519 he formulated an economics principle that later came to be called Gresham's Law. After completing his studies in Italy, 30-year-old Copernicus returned to Warmia, where he would live out the remaining 40 years of his life. Copernicus served as his uncle's secretary and physician from 1503 to 1510, and resided in the bishop's castle at Lidzbark, Heilsberg, where he began work on his heliocentric theory. In his official capacity, he took part in nearly all of his uncle's political, ecclesiastic, administrative, and economic duties. Sometime before 1514, Copernicus wrote an initial outline of his heliocentric theory, known only from later transcripts by the title. Nicolae Copernicae de Hypothesibus Motuum Coelestium Assae Constitutus Commentariolus, commonly referred to as the Commentariolus. It was a succinct theoretical description of the world's heliocentric mechanism, without mathematical apparatus, and differed in some important details of geometric construction from De Revolutionibus, but it was already based on the same assumptions regarding Earth's triple motions. In 1510 or 1512 Copernicus moved to Fraubourg a town to the northwest at the Vistula Lagoon on the Baltic Sea coast. In 1514 he purchased the northwestern tower within the walls of the Fraunborg stronghold, from which he conducted over half of his more than 60 registered astronomical observations. The results of his observations of Mars and Saturn in this period, and especially a series of four observations of the Sun made in 1515, led to discovery of the variability of Earth's eccentricity and of the movement of the solar apogee in relation to the fixed stars which in 1515-1519 prompted his first revisions of certain assumptions of his system. About 1532 Copernicus had basically completed his work on the manuscript of De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium, but despite urging by his closest friends, he resisted openly publishing his views, not wishing to risk the scorn to which he would expose himself on account of the novelty and incomprehensibility of his theses. In 1533, Johann Albrecht Widmannstetter delivered a series of lectures in Rome outlining Copernicus's theory. Pope Clement VII and several Catholic cardinals heard the lectures and were interested in the theory. In 1542 Copernicus finally agreed to give the Revolutionibus to his close friend, Tiedmann Geis, Bishop of Helmno, to be delivered to Riticus for printing by the German printer Johannes Petrius at Nuremberg. A publication of Copernicus' heliocentric theory had a profound impact on the history of science and launched the Copernican Revolution. Toward the close of 1542, Copernicus was seized with apoplexy and paralysis, and he died at age 70 on May 24, 1543. Legend has it that he was presented with the final printed pages of his The Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium on the very day that he died, allowing him to take farewell of his life's work. He is reputed to have awoken from a stroke-induced coma, looked at his book, and then died peacefully. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Nicolaus Copernicus. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.